What is up, my wargaming friends? As always, I'm your host, Isaiah, and today we're going to be building a crew for Space Station Zero, the newest release from Snarling Badger Studios, that's Uncle Adam Loper and Vince Venturella. And today, what we need to build this crew are, of course, our rule book in either a physical or PDF form. Luckily, if you buy the print, you get the PDF, so you got access to both. And we need a character sheet. Now, I, when I printed this, I goofed a little bit because I meant to print these not double-sided because I like to be able to lay my counters and stuff on my sheets. So I'm just gonna be using the front of one and the back of another one to make up for that. You need a pencil and that's about it. Oh, these, the character sheet is available at snarlingbadgerstudios.com, which we'll drop a link to that down at the bottom of the description so that you can find that character sheet nice and easy. There are six steps to building a crew in this game. Do you choose your crew type? Choose your ship, make your commander, choose your crew, select your edge, and assign your equipment. When you select your crew, you have three options. Eight, six, or four. The smaller the number, the more elite the crew. I'm going to play a crew of six for my first playthrough, just the kind of middling one. So this is my base stat line for everyone in the crew. Four life, four movement, three command, or no, three combat, three reaction, and three intelligence. Ship types are next, and these determine to some degree or another your crew makeup as well as the equipment that you have access to as well as a bonus that your captain gets. They are medical. Um, I think maybe, I'm not really sure how I would go about modeling the medical crew. The science crew I would use maybe if I had Star Trek models or, or if you have models for Lunar from Black Sight Studio. I think those would fit really, really well as a science crew. A uh, warship. Uh, I've actually got some Halo-esque Master Sergeant type models that I plan on using when I eventually play the warship. But obviously, like a Space Marine would fit great there if you got those sitting around. Shipping. Uh, I don't know. Firefly. Firefly is the only thing that comes to my mind when I think shipping. Um, so I can't get the picture of that crew out of my head. So it's hard for me to really envision anything else to use there. Uh, your pirate ship, which is what I'm going to play, is just going to be kind of a hodgepodge of things. Exploration, also um, Star Trek or lunar models come to mind for me. But obviously you're free to use absolutely anything that you want. That's the beauty of a game that doesn't have a model line. Is It A, gives you an excuse to potentially use models you've had sitting around for a while. And B, it gives you an excuse to just go buy new models that are shiny things. That maybe you thought they were cool for a while, but you're like, I don't know what I would use that for. Well, here you go. I, however... I'm going to be playing a pirate ship because pirates in space. I mean, come on, let's go. You can't go wrong. As a that. pirate ship, my commander will receive the sneaky scoundrel ability, which is once per turn I can force the enemy to reroll their in retained initiative check or challenge. And I get plus one to my move, so I'm at move five. For the crew, I may recruit members of any standard type available to them in any number, and I may recruit up to one ace pilot. Equipment I can take from any category except advanced technology and when I'm picking my initial equipment I get two extra pieces and the available crew types to me are medical officer soldier engineer pilot and ace pilot So when we make our captain, I've given him a name Callum McCade and he starts with the same stat line as everybody else however, he gets his bonus to one stat from the ship type as a pirate I get plus one move and we get three other points, stat points that we can spend as we choose. So I've given myself one life, an extra combat. No, a life and two extra combat. And then my reaction should be three. Callum has maintained control of his ship with an iron fist. After that, you get a bonus piece of equipment from any equipment list that you have access to or the advanced technology list, which allows me to take a cool piece of uh, advanced tech items on him. So I'm gonna take the jump boots, give me plus two move and allow me to fly. Okay, my final captain configuration to life five, move seven, combat five, reaction three, intelligence three with sneaky scoundrel, which is the, the reroll, the enemy retain initiative check and jump boots, which is what takes bumps my move up to seven and allows me to fly about the dark corridors of the space station. Now we're gonna get some crew laid out. So I'm gonna take three soldiers, 
an ace pilot, an engineer, and a medical officer. Well, that's my six crew plus my captain, giving me a total of seven models on the team. Soldiers get an innate plus one to their combat, and then they all have combat spell specialists, which is reroll any two dice during a combat challenge. The engineer gets plus one to his reaction, taking him to a four, and weapon tuning. So at the beginning of the game, I can select any one weapon, and for the duration of that uh, challenge, it has plus one combat. And then my medical officer, who gets plus one to his intelligence, and gets the medical aid ability, which with uh, it's an action, and within... A model within an inch, I can heal them. I take a medical six, target number six test on my intelligence, and then I heal however many successes I get. So before we move on to edges and equipment, I do have names for my clues. So my three soldiers who are brothers, Liam, Lachlan, and Lucian. My ace pilot, Ducky Ferguson. Maybe one day over enough drinks, he might tell you how he got the name Ducky. My engineer, Cooter Cunningham, and my medical officer, Leopold Dreyfus. My edge, so an edge is a bonus that your crew gets that applies to the entire crew, and there are a fair number of interesting ones. For this particular crew, I'm going to take Nanotech, which means that at the beginning of each of their activations, they regain one life up to their maximum life stat. So they kind of have little nanobots that are constantly healing them. Um, another really cool one that I'm really interested in trying out though is Time Masters because it would give me an excuse to buy the Doctor Who models that I've been looking at for forever. We have names and an edge and we know what kind of ship we're on. Now it's time to get them some equipment. So you start off with a base of one piece of equipment for each crew member or one weapon for each crew member. Not equipment, but one weapon for each crew member from any chart that you have access to. And the charts are general, medical, advanced weaponry, scientific gear, and advanced tech. Now, I cannot choose things regularly from the advanced tech. Top of that one weapon for every member in the crew, you also get three other pieces of equipment. And as I am also a pirate, I get an additional two pieces of equipment. So I've got my weapon for everybody and then five pieces of equipment to choose from. So for my gear, I've chosen a sidearm for the sidearm and an energy melee weapon for my captain. A heavy kinetic weapon for two soldiers and a heavy heavy melee weapon for a second third soldier the one with the melee weapon also has a med patch uh, my ace pilot has got a sidearm and a scanner my engineer has got an energy missile weapon and an advanced tech kit and my medical officer has a sidearm a stabilization mod and a medi bag and with that everybody's geared up named we're ready to dive into the station and see what these challenges are gonna hold for us Hope to see you next time. I'm glad I got to see you this time. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.